Shalom travelers, welcome back to another episode of Nomad Travel Adventures. This is Simon and today we are going to be going on the second tour from Taurus Israel. If you didn't watch the first tour on my first day here in Israel, um, you can do so by clicking on the card above. Basically out of all the tour companies that I had searched for online, this was the best valley. Yeah, it was just a very easy choice. You can check out their link. Um, I'm going to include that in the description below and then also a link to this particular tour if you're interested in that. Having said that, um, I will remind you again to subscribe to my channel. I've got two more days here in Israel, so hopefully um, I will be posting videos of that um, very soon. Today I think we're going to be going on the tour and it is called the uh, Nazareth, Galilee and Tiberias and more tour. Uh, I think first we're going to head off to St. George's Monastery in the Judean Desert. So Later, I think we're going to go to the Jordan River. I think after that, we head off to the Sea of Galilee. We're going to head off to Capernaum. And after that, I think we're going to head off to Nazareth. We have a pretty uh, fun-packed day. Um, I hope you guys stay tuned and, yeah, join me on my journey. It was my second day in Israel, so I decided to take another tour. Back in the familiar van of Taurus Israel, I watched the streets of Jerusalem waking up to another rainy morning. But the weather slowly cleared up as we headed back into an epic drive across the Judean desert. It was a beautiful morning and the light reflected across the desert in a way I had never seen before. Once we arrived, we were greeted by a rainbow. So we stopped and headed towards a gorgeous site of St. George's Monastery. This is an ancient monastery located in Eastern West Bank and is inhabited by Eastern Orthodox monks. You can only reach it by a pedestrian bridge, Soon, we just got back on the road, and there was some pretty amazing scenery until we finally made a stop at an Israeli convenience store. It was packed with tourists, and you could even ride a camel. The place was surrounded by food. From the all-familiar American hot dog to some Israeli treats I had never seen before. We got something quickly and then we were back on the go. This time towards tourist destination number two, the baptism site of Jesus at the Jordan River. There was really good scenery as we headed there and it was a while before we arrived, but once we did, it was so cool to see the significance of this site in all the languages of the world. And once we were actually inside, it was so beautifully kept with something mystical in the air. I'd always imagined it a bit more rugged, but this was perfect. Okay guys, so we actually made it to the Jordan River. This is the baptism site. Um, this is where Jesus was supposedly baptized. And lots of tourists from all over the world come here. And you're actually able to get baptized here, which um, that's really cool. Um, John the Baptist uh, would baptize people because he said that the water was a way to cleanse the spirit and it would be born again. So um, when you're here, definitely try to touch the water. I'm about to do that now. So. I think you might have to go a little further than just touching it with your hand in order to feel any type of spiritual cleansing. But it was really fun just getting to see small groups of people taking part in all the action. There was this amazing little group of people from Brazil and they're just baptizing everyone and really just rejoicing in this ceremony. Nearby onlookers gathered around and took pictures while clapping with them. There was so much joy in the air and I just wanted to check the rest of the site out. There was plenty of information around and it was one of the most tourist friendly places I had ever visited. There was even a changing room selling flip flops for people being baptized. The Jordan River was this epic setting for one of the most famous Bible stories. 
and pretty soon we went out through the exit, but not before stopping by the souvenir shop. We stopped to get a quick glance inside and there was plenty to see, but we had a time limit, so we headed back on the road towards our third destination, where we started actually getting closer to the Sea of Galilee. We passed through a couple of cities before finally arriving to our next destination in Capernaum. This was once a small town where it was a fishing village and Jesus resided and lived with his disciple, Peter, at his home. Entrance fee was five shekels, which is about a euro and 20 cents. So freaking cheap. And upon my arrival, Everything just seemed so incredible. So it's a bit rainy now, but um, we made it to Capernaum. I know I'm pronouncing that completely wrong, but that's okay. Um, actually, this is the town of Jesus. This is where he did a lot of his miracles, most of his miracles. Um, he actually le lived in uh, St. Peter's house, which is right there. There's a church now, um, and it is on top of the house. So we're gonna go check the house out. And then also this is a synagogue where he used to pray. So um, it was destroyed and renovated. So the synagogue that you see now is actually uh, 400 years after Jesus. So yeah, let's uh, go inside the house and then check out the synagogue. The area was pretty big. So we decided to head off to the church that was built on top of the house. In the middle, there was this giant glass structure and everyone was looking down at the actual house. So we headed downstairs to get a more open view of what used to be the home where Jesus lived. Now, if you're familiar with Bible excerpts, you'll know that he performed many miracles here. Right next door was the epic synagogue, which was so ancient looking, it was like something straight out of a movie. We decided to check out the rest of the site and headed off towards the Sea of Galilee. Oh my gosh, you guys. So the sun finally came out and the sea is beautiful. Just take a look. It was an incredible sight and we actually had to head back because of our time schedule. Once again, we left the passing tourists and headed towards the van. Once we were back on the road, we realized that we were really hungry. So we decided to stop at a nearby restaurant in order to get some lunch. When we got inside, it was packed and full of people. Rush hour was around the corner, but we still managed to get a large variety of food, which was so delicious. I got the lamb kebabs, which I recommend, and that was followed with dates and Israeli coffee for dessert. Once we were done with this, uh, we headed back towards the road and onto the next destination on our list, which we would find in Nazareth. The Church of Annunciation is one of those religious sites that you should visit while you're in Israel. It's located in the town of Nazareth and you can get there on foot by going uphill. It is famous for one thing. Okay guys, so this is the place where Mary found out she was going to have Jesus. The angel Gabriel told her. Let's go see it. The church was so beautifully designed, and once we were inside, right in the middle behind a closed gate was the exact spot where Mary found out she would be Jesus' mother. There was also an upstairs where there was mass going on, and it was decorated with different Virgin Mary structures from all around the world. It was time to go, and memories of the day ran through my head as the sun started to set, Another great day, another great tour. Hey guys, so um, we are finally done with the tour. I am really happy with everything. Um, our tour guide was Amy Braun and he did an amazing job. If you can, I would probably request him. Uh, I just really loved all of it, but I think my favorite part was the Jordan River. Uh, 
uh, just the energy there felt really cool and um, just everyone chanting all together when they were getting baptized. It was just a very incredible experience. Um, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a lot more travel videos. I still got two days in Israel, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And uh, like or comment on this video. Let me know what you guys thought, um, if I should do more tours and do more videos of tours. Um, just let me know your thoughts on that. But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, I will talk to you soon, okay? This is Nomad. I'm signing out. See ya. Like my videos? Subscribe for more.